Welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. It's another day that we are going to learn more about the, the, uh, the purpose of the new year and uh, what the Lord is going to teach us today is that we become independent in His name that we can do miracles, we can do wonders, we can do things in His name, in the new year, because it's another opportunity like we read last week. It's another time now that the Lord has given us as an opportunity this new year. Because those that did not see the new year, they, they did not get that opportunity. But you, as you're watching this hour, you that are hearing what, what, what the word of the Lord, you have that opportunity to turn things around, to do the things that you did not do in the past year. There were things you needed to do, but you did not do them. But the Lord has given us another opportunity that we can do more, greater things in his name. And as we are going to read today, we'll see how our Lord Jesus Christ brought his disciples into a position that they would know how to do things by faith. They would do great things by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. That even us in the new year, this opportunity, we take up this opportunity to do great things that we did not do the last year. For God, for Christ, because he has called us as Christians, even for our families, even for our neighbors, that we can do great things for them in the name of Jesus Christ. But how are we going to do this? When we have this opportunity, it is by faith. It is by faith that the Lord was teaching his, his disciples. That is by faith that we have to overcome this world. Every situation that we might be in, it is by faith that we are going to overcome. Praise the name of the Lord. It is so wonderful to know this, that we are going to overcome because we have an, another opportunity this year, that we go through this year, doing great things that we never did, that in the end of this year, we'll be accountable to ourselves and to God that he gave us an opportunity and we used this, we used it for good to do great things for our Lord. Years should not just pass by. Another year passes by without you having a record of what things have happened, what things you have accomplished. Was it a decree, a, a project? a study of some nature, a research in something. What did you do? What did you graduate in? So there is a new opportunity. We should not lose hope in the new year that we are going to conquer. But how are we going to do it? By faith in the name of Jesus Christ. So he taught his disciples. As we read, I want us to hear the, the three stories so that as you connect them, you see how Jesus taught his disciples how to do things by faith. And when he left, they did. Now we are also mature in our Christian life that we are going to do great things in the name of Jesus Christ. Because he said that we are going to do them by faith because he went to heaven. It's our time. And we have given, he has given us even more time this year to do in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and we worship you and we bless you and we give you glory. A time like this, oh Father, that your anointing comes upon us, oh Father God, to speak the word in the name of Jesus Christ. That you be hard, not us. That you be, you, 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 you be experienced in this program, not us. Whoever hears, hears directly from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up the inner ears of our hearts, O oh Father, to hear and understand and comprehend 
and Father, to act and do according to thy word. We give you glory, Father, for your presence. Let thy anointing rest upon us this hour. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory, honor, and all the praises. For it's in Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. We shall go to the book of Mark. Mark chapter 4. You remember the story where our Lord calmed the sea. And we want to see what happened as he wanted the disciples to get to understand this in their own way. Because sooner he would, he would leave them and they would be on their own and they had to do things the same way that he was doing. He, was, he is a wonderful teacher. That as he is in heaven, the Bible says, so are we. As he is in heaven with the powers, so are we here as Christians to represent him. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Mark chapter 4, verse 35, as we read together. That same day, when evening came, he said to them, the disciples, let us go across to the other side. When they had said, sent the crowd away, they took him in the boat, just as he was. There were also other little boats with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves splashed into the boat, so that it was now filling the boat. Verse 38. He was in the stem, he was in the stern asleep underneath. Asleep on a pillow. That means he was completely asleep. In the stern. They woke him and said, Teacher, do not care that we, we, we are perishing. They always depended on him in his presence. Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He rose and rebuked the wind. He rose and rebuked the wind. In their presence, they saw what he did. And said to the sea, Peace be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was great calm. Nature is not a problem. You can calm the sea. You can stop the rain. All these things can be done by faith. Listen to what he said. He rose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was great calm. Verse 40. He said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is that you have no faith? Why should you be afraid? You should have faith in that. You have seen me do these things many times. You should not be fearful. You should. How is that you have no faith? You should have faith enough to do. They feared greatly and said to one another, What kind of man is he that even the wind and the sea obey him? What kind of a man is he that the wind and the sea can obey him? But Jesus wanted to teach them that they can do, they could do the same. The wind and the sea could obey them by faith. That's why I asked them, why is your faith? Because faith is the, is the most important thing. We shall overcome this world by faith in Jesus' name. In his name, he says, whatsoever we shall ask, shall be given unto us. In his name, by faith, believing and trusting. So this year, we are going to conquer by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe last year, you are doing things in other ways. But this year, we are going to accomplish all that we need in the name of Jesus Christ, by faith. Hallelujah. They feared greatly, the Bible says, and said to one another, what kind of man is this? Is he that even the wind and the sea obey him? You too, the wind and the sea will obey you. In the situation that you are in, by faith, it shall obey you. If we get to know the word of the Lord and we hear him speak to us and the word of God speak to us and we do exactly what the Lord says, it shall be done for us. So the following 
So they, what happened is that he had to teach them even much more. Go, for, go forward. Back to chapter 6, verse 35. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the time that he fed 5,000 people. But he wanted to show the, the, the disciples that whatever he did, they could also do. They could do the same in his name. So, this time there were 5,000 people. But those were men because in, in, in Israel, women and children are not counted. So 5,000, that means there were about 20,000 people there. They were hungry. They didn't have anything to eat. And the Lord was preaching to them. And he needed to feed them. They had been following Jesus. They needed to eat. But this time the Lord wanted to teach the disciples. Verse 35 says, When the day was now getting late, after the Lord had preached them, his disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and now the time is passing. Send them away into the surrounding country and villages to buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. But he said, Listen to what he told them. You give them something to eat. He told his disciples. Wow. Give them something to eat. Disciples being told to feed over 20,000 people. They, they couldn't even understand what Jesus was saying. But the, our Lord needed to teach them and to show them the word of faith that they could even feed 20,000 people. They said to him, Shall we go and buy 200, buy 200 denarii worth of bread and give it to them to eat? They had only 200 denarii. He said to them, How many loaves have you? Go and see. Because there was a boy who had five loaves and, and two fishes. So he told them, how many loaves have you? Go and see. Not Jesus going to see, but them going to see how many loaves were there. The Bible says, when they found out, they said, five loaves and two fish. So they brought the report back to Jesus. Then he commanded them to make everyone sit down by companies on the green grass. So they sat down in ranks by hundreds, by hundreds and, and, and by fifties. When he had taken the five loaves and the two fish, Jesus, after he had taken the five loaves and two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves. He lifted up, he blessed and broke the loaves. And gave them, what did he do? After blessing them, he gave them to the disciples. To set them before them. So he gave them to the disciples. So then the disciples would give to the people. So who was giving to the people? The disciples, not Jesus. Jesus just is just training this man. He's watching them as they do it. Breaking the bread and, this, and giving to them. Uh, giving to the people. And he divided the two fish among them all. He divided the two fish among them all. Hallelujah. They all ate and were filled. And they took up 12 baskets full of fragments and the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were about 5,000 men. That means about 20,000 people ate. Who did the work? The disciples themselves. Jesus just blessed them. But who did the work? So as the bread and the fish was multiplying, it was multiplying in the hands of the, of the disciples. Not in the hands of our Lord. In the hands of the disciples, the multiplication and the miracle was happening. That means they... They, they, they were to experience 
the miracle themselves as they did it. And that's what they were learning, that, that they have to do it themselves. And the miracle will start and continue as they did it. This year, we are going to do the same. That's whatever we need to do, we are going to do it ourselves in the name of Jesus Christ. And miracles will happen, signs and wonders shall follow us, as the word says. We got to go out there believing by faith and we do even the impossible things. What is that you want to do this year? What is that that you always wanted to do? What is that thing that you, that project you wanted to have to do? What is that course you wanted to go and learn? What is that thing that's been bothering you? That you did not do yesterday, in the last year, and the other year, and the years past? This time, you are going to do it by faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the multiplication, and the perfection, and the fruition, and the multiplication will happen as we do. It's another year the Lord has given us an opportunity, the new year, that we do like the disciples. They took the bread and they broke it. As they broke the bread, the multiplication was going on. As they broke the fish, the, 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 the fish was multiplying. And the people were eating. And the Bible tells us, and they took 12 baskets full of fragments. After 20,000 people were fed, this is by faith. It's not just listening. It is doing it by faith. And that multiplication comes because you believe and trust by faith. The name, the most powerful name, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we are called Christians. We are followers of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is power in that name. Hallelujah. And in the presence of our Lord, 20,000 people were fed. Praise be the name of the Lord. What is that you want to do this year? What is that you're planning to do? Before the end of this year, you'll be accountable. Did you use your faith in Jesus' name? Did you do it? Did you accomplish that thing you always wanted? Did you finish that house you've been trying to, to, to build? It is by faith the Lord is telling us. They did not even understand how they could feed 20,000 or 25,000 or a multitude of thousands of people. They could not believe that five loaves and two, two fish would do that. But they did it by faith. Nobody would believe that you, that house you want to put up, that project you want to do will be done. But by faith, at the end of this year, you will You'll testify of the goodness of the Lord and how the Lord has used you to do it, accomplish it for your children, for your wife, for your husband, for your neighbors, for your project, for your college, whatever you are doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Reba Saka Batsanta Rababosika. It is for us to go forward and do it by faith. That's the power of faith. The power of faith. That we shall overcome this world by faith, the Bible says. Praise the name of the, of the Lord. It's looking unto Jesus. The Bible says in Hebrews 12, looking up, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. It's looking up unto our Lord and going forward and doing it. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. He endured the cross, despising the shame, despising any shame that anyone tried to bring to you, despising the shame that you, you're going to be a conqueror in the name of Jesus Christ and has sat down at the right hands of, the, of, of God the Father, of the throne of God. He has now sat on the right hand side of, of the throne of his Father God after accomplishing. And he'll also sit down in the presence of the Lord, that you have already accomplished what you set out to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reba Saka. This is how we're going to start this year. 
without shame, without fear, dealing with situations as they come in the name of Jesus Christ. No fear, no shame. Face it head on in the name of Jesus Christ. They faced 20,000, over 20,000 people, hungry. And you know a hungry man is an angry man. Some of them were hungry, they may know, nobody knows, but they were hungry. They needed something to eat. And our Lord told them, feed them. Because he needed to teach them about faith. That by faith, you can feed those people. So by faith, you are going to do that project. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. Thereafter, feeding those people, Jesus says in the book of, the same book, in fact, it's the same, it is, it is the second, uh, it is verse 45. Hallelujah. 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 Verse 45. Immediately, he compelled his disciples to go into the boat and to go before him. After feeding those people, he compelled the disciples to go into the boat and to go before him to the other side. He was teaching them about faith and showing them about faith so that they would know about faith. So he told them, now you're going to the other side of the sea. Now, he compelled them, the Bible says. They are going to Bethsaida. While he sent the crowd away, when he had sent them away, he departed to a mountain to pray. So he went up to a mountain to pray. And he told, he told his disciples, now we're going to the Bethsaida, the other side of Beth, Bethsaida. Now you go and I'll follow. Hallelujah. So he went to the mountain to pray. When evening came, the boat was in the midst of the sea. And he was alone on the land. He saw the straining and rowing for the wind was against them. So this, the Lord saw visions of, of his disciples rowing and straining to row because of the windstorm. The wind was against them. About the fourth watch of the night, he came to them. About the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea and he would have passed by. He came walking on the sea. Wanted to show them the power of faith. He was a man like they were. He was walking on the sea. By faith, Jesus walking on water. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. And he would have passed them by. But when they saw him walking on the sea, when they saw him, they supposed it was a ghost and cried out, for they all saw him and were troubled. Because they could not believe that someone could walk on water. They thought, this must be a, a ghost. But the Lord wanted to show them, there's nothing impossible. You can also walk on water. By faith. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Immediately he spoke to them and said, immediately he spoke to them and said, be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. Jesus said, did not want anyone to be afraid at any time. Never be afraid. Have faith in him. So be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid, he told them. Then he went up to them in the boat and the wind ceased. He went up to the boat and the wind ceased. In the presence of the Lord, whatever nature is trying to, however nature is trying to behave, the presence of the Lord comes in town. The presence of faith in the Lord will also come in town. Praise the name of the Lord. They were greatly astonished in themselves beyond measure. Astonished beyond measure. Walking on water and now the, the storm ceasing in the presence of the Lord. They were they were greatly astonished in themselves beyond measure and wondered and wondered. Listen to this where the message is still. For they did not comprehend the miracle of the loaves, for their hearts were hardened. 
Imagine we are talking now in the sea. But the Spirit of God still brings us back to the miracle of the loaves. They were, that means they were not supposed to be amazed. They were not supposed to be astonished to see the Lord walk on water. If they could have remembered how the multiplication of bread and fish was the previous day, they should not have been astonished. That's why it says in verse 52, for they had not comprehended the miracle of the loaves, for their hearts were hardened. You should not have a hardened heart. You should have a heart that receives, that receives, and the anointing of the Lord upon you to believe by faith that there is nothing that is impossible. But we usually have a hardened heart. Oh, they were just astonished to see the Lord walk on water, and now the, 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 the wind has ceased. If they would have remembered how the multiplication was for the fish and the bread, they would have said, oh my Lord, and they would have clapped to see how faith can work. Yes, it's because of faith in our Lord as he was teaching them and showing them how it was and how they could do anything, even to, to stop the windstorm, even to walk on water. Praise the name of the Lord. That there is nothing impossible in us. If we believe in the Lord, sometimes we believe in ourselves, in our finances, in our own things, instead of having faith in God, who will provide the finances and the strength and the energy and everything that we need, like that he provided the fish and the, the, the bread and the multiplication, just having faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. You should not worry where you'll get the finances. You should not worry about any project. If, if you believe in the Lord and pray and ask him in his name, you go forward believing. Do not have a hardened heart like these guys had. That they were now there. It's, it's, it's just a day before, a day after. The miracle happened in their own hands as they were multiplying the bread. As the Lord was multiplying the blood, and they, they were just giving it out to people, eating and eating and feeding, as the multiplication happens, happened in their own hands. The same thing that will happen to us. By faith in our Lord, miracles will happen in our hands. Whatever we lay our hands on shall multiply. It shall happen. It shall be well with us because we have faith in our Lord. The Bible says, Whatsoever we shall do in His name, whatsoever we shall do in His name, it shall be done for us. Praise the name of the Lord. So this year, do not hesitate to do and go forward by faith in Jesus' name shall be well with you as we begin the new year. Praise the name of the Lord. Be blessed as we continue in this service the next time in Jesus' name. Amen. I know you have received. May the Lord bless you.